Alright, hello everyone and welcome to the factory, which is uh, currently, why is there, um, good at loaded up, which is currently producing thing out, things out of the wazoo. But we will go over that <clears throat> in just a moment. The first thing I want to do this episode is craft ourselves a gravity thing. I don't even remember what it's called. Um, a gravity chest plate, which is like a quantum suit, except it will allow us to fly. Now, let me just pop in here and show you exactly what went into making this. Now, the first thing I had to do was upgrade my advanced lap pack to an ultimate lap pack, which was an iridium plate, a superconductor, and some lapitron crystals. Not very expensive with all the resources I have these days. Um, we've gone over superconductive cable, we've gone over high voltage transformers. The thing that's new are these gravitation engines. Now to make a gravitation engine you need a Tesla coil, more superconductors, another high voltage transformer, and a cooling core, which is kind of complex and ridiculous. This took me forever to do. Now all the components that you see in this cooling core, the 600k coolant cell, the advanced heater exchange, um, the heat capacity reactor plating, those are all things that kind of go along with um, a nuclear nuclear reactor. So I'm not going to describe what they are this episode. Um, you at least saw them there and you know how to go find how to make them if you also want to make a gravity suit along with me. But I'm just going to tell you right now that we'll get to that in a future episode when we actually get to nuclear power. So basically for this gravity suit I believe you hit F Yep, and you'll see the gravitation engine is on. Now why it is on you'll see that it drains power and it appears to be draining power slightly faster than the helmet can put into it. So let me turn flight mode off and it should be going up. Yep, it's going up. Now it is nighttime, so let's see if it's good during the day. Alright, so it is day and you'll see that <clears throat> even during the day the gravity suit actually takes up um, more energy than it takes in. Now you just double tap space like creative mode to fly which is a great opportunity for me to go ahead and clean this stuff up. It appears that you break things as if... can you not laser glass? It appears that you break things at swimming speed while flying like this which is terribly obnoxious but hey um, you can't get everything you want at one time because that would just be unfair now regardless of whether or not you're flying as long as the gravity engines are on you will be using power so if I'm just standing down here and I turn the gravity engine on you'll see that I'm losing power so there's that. Just put that back there. There's signs all over the place. Please replant what you take. Thank you. Alright, so let's just turn the gravity engine on and yep, just double tap space and we can fly around like magic in a young girl's heart. Yes, and then of course we don't have to worry about falling to our death because well we're still technically in quantum armor, so we are practically invincible. Man, I love being able to fly around. It is so amazing. Gravity engine activate. Deactivate. Doop. I love it. It's so cool. Alright, so let's go over what's up in this factory. Now we have the ender chest I talked about last time pumping into this diamond chest. This wooden pipe pumps out of this diamond chest and puts it into this um, diamond pipe. And this diamond pipe is basically a sorting machine. So what I do is the yellow goes directly to the furnace over there. You can see that yellow line comes out and goes over that way. 
So lead ore goes directly to the furnace, uranium ore goes to the compressor. These stone pipes are in here to prevent blocks from traveling that path since stone pipes should theoretically never come through here. And then it also sends all of these ores over to the macerator over there. So simple golden pipe, stuff you've seen before. Now what's more new in this factory, if I go up here, is I have a crafting facility. Now all the extra dirt and stuff gets sent up here, and uh, some of the cobble is sent down this line where it is pumped into this electric or this induction furnace, and then it is sucked out of this induction furnace to this iron chest. Now this iron chest is next to a automatic crafting table. So let me just pull that up for you. That is how one would make an automatic crafting table. And the way an automatic crafting table works is you put a recipe inside of here, and then it will use adjacent inventories to go ahead and complete that recipe. And then that wooden pipe will pump the completed recipes out into this diamond chest, which I then manually fill these barrels with. There's a similar thing over here with sand. Um, cobble gets pumped into these macerators. These macerators turn the cobble to sand. The sand is pumped out and it goes one of two places. It goes over here to be turned into sandstone in a very similar fashion or it comes over here to another induction furnace to be turned into glass. Now the problem is I had so many blocks coming through from my quarry world that my chest would constantly overfill so I made these things called void pipes and void pipes will simply just delete items that go into them. So that's how you would make a void transport pipe. And so what I do is I just put void pipes randomly along the pipeline of cobble and sand. So it will just um, randomly delete pieces of cobble and sand that come through. And then um, extra cobble and extra dirt get pumped up here into this hopper, which gets pumped into this recycler, which makes scrap, which goes into this mass fabricator to produce UU matter. And then up here I just have tons of barrels for everything that I produce. Um, diamonds, which I always seem to use up diamonds as soon as I get them, so I never have very many up here. Rubies, have a few emeralds, my UU matter, and all of my other good stuff that makes it up here. I have tons of stuff. I have, let's see here, I have 17 stacks of copper, about a stack of uranium, five stacks of gold, 18 stacks of iron. Yeah, and this is after I craft a bunch of stuff. Like, you have no idea how much of the resources I was using as I get them to build things. Like, to make this gravity chest plate, freaking expensive. It takes a lot of time to make one, but I kind of like that about Feed the Beast, that you actually have to take time in crafting things. It's not all simple and straightforward. So that's, uh, that's a simple overview of the factory. Alright guys, so what we're going to work on now is forestry stuff. I would like to get some automated tree farms and other farms of other assortments going because manually getting bread is starting to become a pain. It just simply is. No one likes it. So what I am going to do is quite simple. Uh, the first thing I need to do is make what is known as a carpenter. So I'm going to need lots of bronze. I think this is my bronze, right? Yep, there we go. So the first thing I need to do is build a sturdy engine, like so. And then I'm going to need to get some of my glass from downstairs. Here we go. Yeah, you'll see in a little bit this glass I'm making and producing is not totally for building purposes. You'll understand that in just a moment. Alright, so sturdy engine, glass, bronze, and there's our carpenter. And the other thing we're going to need is a thermomic something rather than rather. There it is, a thermonic fabricator. So I'm going to need another sturdy engine, a chest, and some gold. So we'll just make another sturdy engine, grab some gold, and I have a chest around here somewhere. 
Alright, and there's our Thermomic Fabricator. Now these guys use Buildcraft power, so I want to go put them in the Buildcraft factory, which I've moved all ingot production from, if you can't tell, so we'll basically solely be powering um, these machines with this factory, so if I just come over here, I can just... Um, do something like this, there we go. All right, let's see here. What is wrong with this one? No recipe, right, okay. So, what we wanna build is an Arboretum. So, what do we need? We need gold electric tubes and we need a small circuit board. So I need to go grab tin and iron and gold and all that good stuff. Alright, so what are we doing? Um, the glass in here is being turned into li <coughs> liquid glass, which is used to power this thing. And let's start by making three of these gold things. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, <coughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. So I should be able to make a bunch of these. There we go. And now we need a small circuit board. Three, one, two, 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 three. I'm just going to make a couple of sets of these to prevent having to do it in the future. Does this type of tin not work? Um, oh, this is, I have to do this in the carpenter, what am I doing? Okay, so, hop over here, and this will be the one, two, three-ing, and I need to take you all back. Okay, so, and I need one, two, okay. So you left click to put things in here. You don't right click. This isn't actually a crafting grid. This is like a fake crafting grid. Now, no matching recipe was found. Okay, one second. Okay, so I went ahead and I put an aqueous accumulator on top of my carpenter because the carpenter has to be filled with water because you can see now that it has water in here, the circuit board appeared, so I just simply made another aqueous accumulator and put it on top of the ca carpenter to automatically fill it with water. So if I just click this, I should be able to make it maybe, quite possibly. Why can't I make it? Oh, there we go. It's it's crafting it. Okay. So there we go. Now I have a small circuit board. I guess I can just leave this stuff in there and it will keep making it for me. All right. So now I have all of this and I don't have the crafting table in this factory anymore. All righty. So we'll just pop on out over here where there is crafting tables. I feel like it's been a while since you've guys seen the basement of this place. Still quite roomy. Still quite homey. All right, so, and all of my glass is gone as well, so let's go get more glass. All right, so here we are, we have our Arboretum. Now, um, the Arboretum's not going to be much use without our friend Z-Logger. So basically, that is an expensive thing. That is an expensive thing. Uh, well, there's not much, not much we can do about it. We have to make diamond electron tubes. Okay, um, yep. Let's go make some diamond electron tubes, guys. I don't know why you'd make an electron tube out of diamonds, but apparently people do. All right, so here are our diamond electron tubes. And I think, yeah, I got my small circuit board. So. We have everything we need to craft a Mephi, one of these guys. And we can go ahead and set up an Arboreter. A Derbiter. Arboreter. Arboreter. What am I doing? Right, I'm crafting a uh, logger. 
I am running low on bronze like you would not believe. Okay. So, sturdy engine, small circuit, diamantine, and the rest is glass. And there we have ourselves a Luger. A Lugure. Alright, now, I don't think there's any way to collect leaves in forestry, sadly. I want to confirm that really quickly. Um, yep, it appears that there is no way to actually, um, <clears throat> what was I saying? There's no way to actually harvest leaves. That's okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and get me some saplings and stuff, and I'll be right back. You know, this episode's starting to get into the 20-minute range, and that's about where I'd like my episodes to be. I feel bad if they go into the 30-minute range, because I know it takes, you know, your guys' day to actually sit down and watch these videos, and I much appreciate it, so I'm not going to take more of your time than I need, and who in the world built this and why? Why would you do this? This is just, this is just terrible. And get I am going to fix me this so when you guys come back next time um, we're going to set up our logger and our arboretum so thank you guys for watching very much and I will see you all next time